Hey guys, TMN back here, and in today's video on day three of rapid reviews, we are going to be reviewing my first Vortex gun on this channel, and this is, of course, going to be the Praxis. And if you didn't, don't know what a Vortex gun is, they are a discontinued line, but it was done by Nerf. They shoot Vortex discs, which are little discs. They are... They act much different from nerf darts in that they're easier to dodge as well as they hang in the air so they get some increased ranges. So today we're looking at one of the nice underpunk guns known as the Praxis. I have it in, I think this is the original version, it also comes in a bunch of different uh, flavors. So here's the uh, base blaster, we'll just put it all together. So. We'll throw the stock on and we have the clip here or magazine for all of you people who hate terminology. So now we'll start with the review and we'll start with aesthetics from the front to the back. So up front at the bottom we have a grip. Uh, it's very nice but it doesn't prime unless you have a magazine in here because this thing is jam filled with locks. So it's right over here. It's a nice pump. It comes back here and then forward. You have your barrel with a flip up sight, or not a flip up sight, an iron sight there. It doesn't line up with anything else, but it's still there, so I can aim. Um, if we move, we have the muzzle, which ha which is much differently shaped from the nerf because it's obviously shooting vortex discs. If we move further back, we have a large muzzle, and then we have a nerf tactical reel on top on the underside, which does have some nice detailing, and then the magazine slot. If we move further back, we have a very, very comfortable grip. It's kind of soft edges, so it's very comfortable to grip. So we have the trigger right over here. And then if you look right above the trigger, you'll see that there's this orange switch. If we pull that down, that is actually the magazine release. It's in a very nice position. And something cool about the Vortex mags is, it's not, not only is it drop clip, if you look, I'm, it's vertical and I pull the magazine release down, the magazine actually pops out. So if I'm putting it down, it pops out and that is amazing. Now that's pretty much all it for the blaster in terms of aesthetics. If we come to the stock, uh, we'll start from the front to the back. It obviously has the stock releases on both sides, some cool decals. It's kind of like a recon stock or one of the new modulus stocks in that it's, it's this weird where it's the two wires going back and I don't really like that because it is, if you look, it is super flimsy, which really stinks. It, the stock is quite comfortable to grip actually except for how there's this gap between the two parts. You can grip it pretty high up and then your shoulder ends to slide down. To be honest, I don't really like this stock. And as well, it doesn't really fit on other Nerf Blasters. So if you go to put it on, like, I, I tried to put this on the stock of my Alpha Trooper. It went on and then it wouldn't come off and I had to spend almost a few, like, half an hour just tugging to get, to get it off. So I don't really like the stock, so we're going to finish this review without it. So now we will move on to the magazine. It's a Vortex magazine, obviously it holds 12 rounds on both sides. There's some really nice details, you can't really see that from the camera. As well on the slide, you can pull this down, which pulls down the magazine release. You slide your Vortex discs in at the top. There's obviously a right way to put this in. And on one side, there's also the Nerf, both sides of the Nerf logo engraved, and then there's also showing you which way to put your Vortex ammo in, which is obviously with the Nerf logo facing up. So we will just load the discs in. I think I may have, no, I was sitting on the fourth. So we'll load the fourth in as well, and they stick very nicely. And then to, uh, now we'll go on to not, that's not good. We'll go on to mechanics. You just take your magazine, put it into the uh, bottom, find your blaster, and then fire your disc. So, and then when you're ready to uh, to switch your magazine, you just pop it out. Like I said, I love that function. 
Um, you have a sink point at the iron sight and one at the back I didn't mention by accident. So now we're going to go on to the firing demo and then on to final thoughts. Hey guys, we're back and now we're going to go on to the firing demo. Here we have our 12-round uh, magazine. We've loaded it with four Vortex discs. We're just going to fit into the blaster the right way. So as I did mention, we're finishing this review without the stock because I don't tend to like it. We will be shooting at the uh, Sambian symbol and I thought I'd switch up the angle just because. So we'll be shooting from around 10 feet. So let's start. I didn't mention vortex discs are pretty awesome in that they tend to ricochet. So we'll see what happens when we shoot them at the symbol. So there we have it. Now we're going to go on to final thoughts. Hey guys, so now we're on to final thoughts. There is one last thing that I forgot to mention in this review. On the right side of the blaster, you may have noticed when I was going through the aesthetics, there was no jam door. And that's because on the right side of this blaster, there's this little switch. You just prime that back. And what that does is, if there's a jam inside your blaster, it has a little arm that just flicks out forward and lodges whatever's out, out of the barrel. So that's a really nice function. I'd rather have had a uh, jam door because that way I could have fidgeted in to the internals if something had gone majorly wrong. But in terms of the blaster, I really like the Praxis. It's it's like extremely accurate. I hit I I, I hit the center of the symbol, which is amazing. Um, in terms of aesthetics, it's very cool. It's very comfy. But the only thing I really dislike about the Praxis. There are so many locks and it's really irritating to open it up and take them out. I mean, I will eventually, but I'm really not in the mood. I have other projects I'm working on in the future uh, for future videos. So uh, you'll see those soon as well as uh, Dimitri has set up his Etsy page. So I'll have those linked in my past videos on his reviews. And next week I'll have uh, two more videos about four more of his blasters, which are going up on sale in the future uh, in the next few days. Those include a Rapid Strike, a the Rebel, uh, a Rebel Purse Gun, a Retaliator, and a Star Wars Pistol, uh, all of which are painted and modded in some way, shape, or form. Uh, all uh, The Rapid Strike, the Retaliator, and the Pistol are all done in the sand-themed Afghanistan job just like my sandstorm which is currently being opened up and, th and modded even further than he's done as well as um, the purse gun is going to be done in a steampunk fashion I have already filmed these videos what he's done is stunning I, I can't wait for you guys to see these uh, those so I will actually have those I'll link to those videos in the description below uh, when they're online so make sure to check those out but in terms of the practice review, that's all for today. Look forward to the next Rapid Reviews video, which is going to be day four tomorrow. Today was day three. This is TMN signing off. Have a great day, guys.